Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of our Transport Fever 2 series. First of all, I wanted to start off with a big thank you to all of you um, who are well watching my videos, uh, leaving likes and just the general uh, engagement that you uh, that we that we have. Um, yeah, it's massive. Um, it, 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 I, I can't I can't even imagine. Um, what we will do in the future, um, but for now, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I want to thank you, uh, thank you all for for the things we did so far and um, what I give, what I get back from you. Um, so thanks a lot. We have to see how to improve on this because, um, well, we're doing well, uh, but I might want to improve on the schedule a bit. Um, so for now, I am thinking about doing a two times a week video for a longer lasting series, like like we're doing now, two times a week, um, and maybe yeah, add in a little bit of optional extra videos, uh, playing other games, doing other parts of my hobbies because I have quite a lot of hobbies. Um, this is not the only thing I do all week, <laughs> playing Transport Fever 2. <laughs> I play a lot of different games and um, yeah, we, we just have to see how it develops and how it evolves. But um, yeah, coming back to what I said earlier, um, thanks a lot for all, for all the engagement. Thanks. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know what I did to, de to, de to deserve this, but um, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it and I'm really enjoying to do this for you guys and um, yeah just let just let me know um, yeah uh, thanks um so <laughs> with all of that um, out of the way the uh, the, the, the thank yous and the uh, uh, how to go on from here um, I guess we'll we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead. It's 1900, June 11th, 1900, and we just improved our lines with new and, well, it's not modern, but compared to 1815, um, modern cards. I'll just start it in the back uh, in the meanwhile. Um, but we've improved our cards. We are driving with motorized vehicles and we spend a ton of, a ton of cash, but it's not all there's a lot of lines to improve from here a lot of lines to expand to from here um but we also spent a lot of money on well improving all that so we need a bit more cash flow so let's see where we're where we are i think in the near future um we are going to improve the oil line to Get more output from the fuel refinery but we have a steady stream of income now at, at least it seems to me um, last episode we did one year we had an a income of uh road tickets of 1.3 million dollars um that's great that, that that's that's awesome we also spent like a million so Meh. <laughs> but for now, um, it still seems that we are just making a bit of profit, which is totally fine. So for now, let's see. The big question is, what does, is it going to cost if we improve this one? Way three quarters of a million of dollars. But the capacity goes up. The um, <laughs> we the capacity goes up, but the maintenance per year goes up even more. It's almost double. So the passenger line is making us quite a big chunk of money. Uh, wait a minute. Do we have any passenger cards available? No, not for now. 
Oh, look, would you look at that. Total profit of almost half a million. That's a great way to start the 1900s. And even with a more than half a million um, investment, we're still making a profit. Dude. <laughs> okay, now we can scale big time. Um, I don't think we should have bought the oil cart some new um, new trucks because it won't take long before we can actually um, before we can actually make a train line over here that will be oh that will be great so let's see what do we have here you guys are also working on yep are these only oh no it's that's also the steel to machines card i'm curious um <laughs> why why is it that now they picked up the speed a little bit the Oh my dude. <laughs> okay, we went from well, let's see, 154 in three years. Uh let's let's spread it out. Uh 210, 220 in four years with running cost of 40. 40. Uh it's four years actually. So it's 120. Uh, 220 minus 120. That's 100,000 in um, profit per four years. We go to one, two, three. Okay, this is so let's make that uh, 400 in a bit, 420. And give us a <laughs> profit of 35, one. Oh, I don't think it's going to do. I think it stays the same. Still makes a profit. Probably these numbers think otherwise. 317,000. Oh, these guys are doing it every two years. So the steel machines line is doing 500 every two years two years well let's let's make this a happy accident and spread it out over four years so that's five no six six over four years so 200 in profit um, nah, maybe it's not the right calculation but um uh, things are looking good that's that's, <laughs> that's that's the bottom line of it i think we still made one hundred and twenty-one thousand dollars of profit in nineteen oh one, and we're doing good over here. Okay. Then I think it's time to ah. Is it time to go for passenger diesel vehicles? It's a lot of money. And are we going to severely improve our income on the passenger lines you know what i think we are going to skip on that um we're not far off from uh getting another passenger card i believe so let's improve on the cargo lines improve them even further because it still makes a good chunk of cash but without that um, it isn't doing that much in annual throughput per station. So I think to really get gains on that one, we just need to go all in on our uh, next next passenger card, which will be like two years from now or so. Yeah, sorry, I just had to look it up. <laughs> just just look at the cheat sheet of which card is coming because I thought we were on the 
tipping point of um, of the new passenger cards, but it's, it's like another two years. So that's it's not a problem, but it's something to 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 keep in mind. So let's see what we can do with the oil loop. That goes to 58. And I think that this station is doing a lot more now. It's outputting 28. Yeah. What to do, what to do. I think the first thing we need to do is rep re repay another half a million from our loan. Just gives us 5,000 extra. Just slowly repay that loan. We still have a lot of money left. So let's see what we can improve on for the next. just thinking out loud here but what if we make a train line what would be the best option for the train line because you could do a passenger line but the thing is you for it to really work you need double lines so trains can cross but that costs so incredibly such an incredible amount of money so I'm not sure um, wait 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 what can we do wood to machines 24 because of the wood line How many cards are you working with? 16, 12. But you are doing the greater loop, so to make this work, we need to add a more a few more vehicles to the steel to machines line. Would it be the best? Oh wait, 16 vehicles, so it does a one oh no, that's not correct. 12. 12 at 8, no, at half of it, 6, can we do that, clone, check, so now, these numbers are the same, so that means our wood, um, is prettier, so it should mean technically that the amount of wood and the amount of steel is the same per year on this station, which also means it's equal on the amount of machines can produce, which they also take with them 25. So it's it's leveled. It's an equilibrium. <laughs> Big asterisk there because I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm not that sure um, because the line is, is is much longer. But yeah, we have to see. They are doing quite okay. And there's so much more wood stored, so... Okay. Um, we don't have to worry about that for now. Um, how is Hive itself doing? It's doing better. They're getting heat. Or fuel. They're getting fuel. They're getting food. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of missions... Because there's like a constant traffic jam of cars <laughs> going through this little part of Hive. Uh, there's overlay for that, right? Uh, emissions. Oh, would you look at that? I think we might need to 
uh, pull this road over here so we can... Uh, let's see, can we do it like that and like that? Would that cost us? Uh, nope, I don't need that. Uh, let's do it like... Why? Oh, jeez. Why are you... Do the ugly way, it's 200,000. But I mean, come on, look at it. Well, it's shorter, though, but. Should we? You can definitely see, definitely see which roads I've built. Uh, wait, can we. Yeah, that's okay from this side, right? 100,000. You know what? Let's do that. And then we need to, or we should look into building it like this. 124. Let's see if we can make Hive a little better. Voila. So now the only thing passing Hive is the bread line and the passenger line and the fuel line, of course. Everything for my beloved Hive. And just before the new year, so <laughs> yeah, we call it a tax write-off on 1903. <laughs> Time to do 1904 a bit better. It's good to see they are instantly routed to the new lines um, can we this won't be used anymore so the emission would go down but I think it should or I think it's going to uh, take a while to, to see that but yeah no worries for that and as you can see, streets are being built, and that means houses are being built. So we're... Ives is doing good. Are there things we might need to improve further? I think not. Save some cash for the new passenger cards. I have to admit that this little corner over here seems a bit odd. But you come to think of it, in the first episode we made this. <laughs> we made this road because this wasn't connected. So this is artificial. Um, this part. And the rest is all... Well, as you can see, it's, it's all squiggly, so... Couldn't be me. The coal line is also shifting a massive amount of money. So that's a good investment. They're doing even better now. 108 which isn't that much of a difference but you know what let's add another one maybe it will oh, it's... oh. here we go 112 uh... <laughs> oh, there's still a buffer of coal over here so not my problem high food can be improved in due time because that will be one of my priorities after I improve the passenger lines or a singular passenger line and that is first passenger line and after that or the high food line or the high or the Hive fuel line, one way or not another, they both are getting improved, but um, 
would be something uh, to think about. So the oil line, oil loop is doing, bringing in more. And now the, these ones can't keep up. So there's a few things we can do. We can, we see that the iron and the coal wall, that's, uh, it might be a bit too much. They are all 33 seconds every, uh, well, uh, an average of 33 seconds per card entering the station. But the three minutes is way too much because I think that's, um, that's why, uh, because the station, look at, hey, it's the post bus. That's the passenger card we need. Okay. So, first things first, we need to improve on the frequencies of the cargo stops over here. Around a minute, maybe under a minute, but that will be a good um, rule of thumb. But first, we are going to improve the passenger line. If we can afford it, of course, because that is the post oh <laughs> scratch that we are not improving on the passenger line um for now <laughs> 1.259 million dollars we are doing like 600 in a year so it wouldn't take that long before we get it um as you can see we are already close to a million in February. I'm so curious about what the passenger line will, will do when we improve that because they do like, what was it, 25 kph instead of 18? And a... Uh, capacity of eight, so that's double. So double the card, uh, double the, uh, the the amount of passengers. And well, my brain is thinking for the speed calculation, but it, <laughs> a bit uh, like 80, 80% 80 more speed. Um, so yeah. It's time, time to deprecate all the horse-drawn carriages. What are you doing over here? Are, yeah, look, 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 look. This is the whole problem. There's a passenger line vehicle over here. First one we actually bought. And there's like a traffic jam of three guards behind it. They are keeping... Oh, no. Okay, we need that money quick. Does help out with the spacing a little bit but they are currently just holding up the traffic they need to be on the same level um look three cards got coal iron coal so it's a mixed bag but yeah we can't have that um we can buy them now so voila Look at this! It's a little... Looks, almost looks like a Model T. An extended one. Well, I'm not too good in my uh, old car types, but... Um, yeah. We have motorized vehicles on the passenger line. So, what are you? Oh, the food line. Oh, we need to improve that one also. If we have the money for it. So, this year's finances aren't going to be the best. Because we bought 1.26 million of uh, passenger cards. Does it reflect the... Oh, no. But here they are full, actually full. 
And now I'm curious what they would do uh, revenue wise. Four passengers, 12. So 12,000. Okay. The bus is full, so that's also good news. What does Henley need? Tools and machines. But well, we can't produce tools. Because it needs uh, steel and... What did it need? Do we have a tools factory in the vicinity? Mm. Nope, I don't think so. Wait, suppliers, don't cost the tool factory. No, wrong button. Don't cost the tools factory all the way over there, but it only needs um, planks. Planks to tools, quite old school. But hey, Hen Henley is doing good, 300. Residents. Why is it doing so good though? Because of the machine? All because of the machines? Weird. Oh, okay. Traffic jam of little cars at the steel mill. regulates itself for the um, separation <laughs> okay um, we need the high fuel line which is 10 vehicles can we do that and the food line that's half a million nope so we do the fuel line first. Wait, is it? I think the food line would be. Oh yeah, Henley now demands boxes. Is it boxes or goods? Okay, so it improved at that rate that it needs as an a third um, production type goods in this case. Okay, that means Hive will be close to that also, but for that we need to first improve the food line. I think that's priority number one. Sorry, I'm hopping from A to B to C here, but um, there's a lot going on. Okay, so we first improve the food line because it has an extra stop. Farm to processing plant to... Well, to, to, to the city. And that's the one that's slacking. Right? Oh, that means... Oh. So burning through all the buffers. But if we... If we look at this line, um, we are still able with these expenses to make a profit this year. Ah, uh, no clue. But I think we need more food. Which lines do we still have? 
uh, to be replaced by motorized vehicles. That's the Brighouse fuel line, which, well, since the upscaling of the oil line, oil loop, it's doing okay. I think it's finally fully, fully occupied. Question, no, it can take 40, so I'm not sure about that. And the high fuel line. But I think if we fix those two, we also need to improve further on the oil line. No, 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 because that is in overcapacity right now. It's doing 59 of something, albeit crude oil or cargo. Dude, what's Henley doing? It also needs to take fuel. Okay, it needs to take in fuel. Okay. We have to seriously consider making a bigger and Brighouse also needs fuel. So... <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. I said it also needs fuel. We're currently supplying fuel to that. Um, is there a way we can do this? Or, to put it in a better perspective, is there a way to improve on this even more? Because we can't have Exmouth flooded with cards because, well, they wouldn't like that, I guess. Um, so, <laughs> I genuinely genuinely don't want to make a train line of only <laughs> it's like it's like you can <laughs> if this if this was a real skill map like uh, you have the houses over here you could you could just do it by by bike for example but to make a whole train line just revolve around Exmouth doing <laughs> doing only fuel yeah But I do think if we do that on the Exma fuel refinery, there needs to be a dual or triple exit to the uh, exit from the station to one line to Hive and one line to Brighouse and maybe extend one of them to Henley or make it a round trip. But then there's always one that has priority. Hmm. I think that's a good question for the next one. Oh, just about to make a profit over here. So we are doing uh, 1.6, 1.8 million a year on raw income. There's a lot of maintenance, so disregard that for now. Um, we've improved quite some things. We haven't improved on all of the road vehicles. We have to improve on all of the road vehicles. It's only the fuel lines, and but we have to make a new plan for that because Henley is also demanding fuel right now, and we can't supply that with just trucks going everywhere. So I will leave that for for now, even in this episode. Um, but I think I think our next thing would be 
Uh, are we seriously going to to make use of trains? Uh, we do have the cash flow. That's that's it's most important to me. But it it we need like save up for for five or six million just to make this work. Because sure, we can make a little train line purely from the oil fields to the to the to the refineries. But then we need to make great lengths of, of train lines over the hills and far away. Uh, but over the hills, which costs a lot of money to pull the train line from there. Yeah. Let's see if we can... Nope, it needs to be closer. Oh, that is also great. I was thinking if we just by some magic hack um, could combine these two in one station they would use each other's um, car cargo uh, no so that that doesn't that isn't going to work okay um, yeah, let's think about it for the next one. Um, for now, I would like to repeat, as I did in, in the start of this video, thank you for all the engagement you did on the videos. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope I can deliver more to you soon. Uh, maybe improve on all the things that we do. And um, yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and well, subscribe if you want. Um, and yeah, let me know you're here. Leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.